I'm Michael Semenza, Vice President of University Relations, and on behalf of our university community, our students, our faculty, our staff, and our trustees, we welcome you, bishops, governor, senator, mayor, friends, very generous benefactors, parents who were here for family weekend, graduates, advocates, community members and neighbors, and family, all who gather here today to celebrate and honor our leader, our guide, our catalyst, and our president, Sister Therese Antone. When you, Sister Therese, became president, you had a vision for Salva Regina, a new curriculum, an international reputation, a strong endowment, and a restored and revitalized campus. Through hard work, building partnerships, and engaging our university community, you have made that vision a reality. Our academic program and the university endowment are stronger than ever. The Sisters of Mercy are very proud of Sister Trace's stewardship of the university, especially during these last 15 years as president. Sister Trace added to the development of the university in every way, whether it was encouraging academic excellence, supporting new programs, <clears throat> or providing just and equitable salaries for faculty and staff while at the same time building the endowment to over $40 million. Discuss. And the reason that I am here representing the city of Newport throughout the academic year is because of the relationship that Sister Therese has established, the partnership between the city of Newport and this university. The strength of that relationship has grown so much over these past 14 years, and I believe that is the greatest legacy beyond the buildings and academics. The relationship between this host city and the university has so much to do with the work of Sister Trace Antone, but, and I believe- And I've watched this uh, university grow, and our, and our middle daughter was a graduate uh, of Salve, and then in my role as I've gotten professionally associated with it, you just admire and see the great job that Sister has done, her predecessors whom she'd give credit to, uh, but the great, great institution that this has become in our state, and so, uh, from my perspective, we had to be here to congratulate you and acknowledge what a wonderful, wonderful contribution. I think it's also very fitting uh, that we're naming an academic center, you're naming an academic center after Sister, because at heart, she is an educator. She's an educator at heart, and that's what the university is about, and that's so wonderful. All the things that you accomplished that Joe talked about in building, it's all to build a center of education. And I also wouldn't dream of missing this because of Sister Therese, who has made not only such a comp contribution to Salve Regina, but also to Newport and Aquidneck Island, and indeed, as the governor indicated, uh, to all of Rhode Island. Uh, I have an image of her that will stay with me, and that is whenever I make an early start, I'm likely to see her out pounding the pavement on uh, her early marches around Newport. They are characterized by a vigorous pace, <laughs> a, determined uh, a determined stride, and a broad smile. And I think that vigorous pace, uh, that determined stride, and that broad smile uh, have done wonders for all of us. So I thank you on this moment of recognition. At Salve Regina, ours is a community that is truly blessed in this historic period marked by confusion, fear, and uncertainty, we have had Sister Therese Antone as our shepherd for the last 14 years, a source of, source of strength and of vision. She's not only provided us with a steadying hand in the face of a new century, but she has recognized and embraced the change in our world, and she has brought change to this campus. In doing so, she has significantly advanced our beloved university. <laughs> On behalf of the theater department, it's my honor to present Sister Therese with this mask for her years of service to Salve Regina. Masks have been used in theatrical performances since the Greeks and Romans when the mask would have a megaphone inside to project the voice of the wearer into the audience. 
Today, masks are an important part of many theatrical forms throughout world cultures. Their use in theater has developed from and continues to be part of ancient theatrical traditions. In Arabic, mask or masaka means he transformed. Just as the two historic 19th century carriage houses of Wentmore and Mercy Hall were transformed into the Antone Academic Center. Thank you. I can't help but preface my remarks by observing how very characteristic it is of Sister Therese that this dedication is taking place not in an isolated, self-contained, self-serving moment, but rather in the hurly-burly of an activity-filled, community-oriented, people-celebrating, dampened, but not undaunted, never undaunted, fall weekend. This is a tremendous recognition. This particular building is, is obviously so beautiful and offers so much for those areas that are so important to me, and I think that that recognition is, is well-deserved over the years. But I also have to say, as I look around the campus and see all these beautiful buildings that have been restored, how important that has been. But as a person who spent his entire adult life in, in academe, I recognize how many other things that have been done here at Salva Regina University to make this a great institution. The buildings, that's the outward manifestation of it, but the heart and soul of this campus has for these many years been Sister Therese, and she's turned this into a first-class academic community, and as a member of this academic community, I'm very proud to be here, and we're very proud of Sister Therese on Peg. Thank you. Now, I wanted to remind Michael that I have been with Sister Therese's uncle and aunt, the matriarchs and patriarchs of the family, in this tent since 10.30. <laughs> so I must honestly say I did not need the hint <laughs> to keep it brief, stupid. <laughs> Lord God Almighty, in your kindness, hear our prayers this day. We dedicate the Antonic Academic Center for Culture and the Arts to promote artistic diversity. Make it become a center where students, faculties, and others will advance in an appreciation of your presence in all of creation. We ask your blessing a very special blessing on someone you love, Sister Therese. Her vision to educate the whole human person continues to be the mission of Salve Regina University as it has been her own particular goal in life. We give thanks for the generosity of all the donors who have committed their time, talent, and treasure to make this cultural center a reality. They and so many others have done so much. We give thanks for the generosity of all the donors who have committed their time, talent, and treasure to make this cultural center a reality. They and so many others have committed themselves to Catholic higher education and this university campus. Grant that in all our endeavors, we may strive to pursue the truth, to live that truth in our daily tasks, and to proclaim the truth, Jesus, your Son, who lives forever and ever. Amen. And may the all-knowing God, who is Lord, show us his ways. May Christ's eternal wisdom teach the words of truth. May the Holy Spirit, the blessed light, always enlighten our minds, so that we may learn what is right and good, and in our actions carry out what we have learned. And the blessing says, that I sprinkled the building at this point. I think God has sprinkled it abundantly. <laughs> I'm just going to walk over there and sprinkle the entrance. Um, but, you know, there is a, it, it's been a wonderful um, day today. And as you go through the center later, and I hope you do take time, you will see a, a quilt that was made by one of our employees. And the quilt is hanging 
in the Antone Academic Center. And the quilt is a tree, and it's a tree of hands. And those hands were traced at our community picnic, and they are the hands of our employees. It's a sturdy tree, it's a growing tree, and it's a tree that is going to bloom for many, many years. But it is the employees here, the faculty, the staff, that have really made my dream come true. Keep going.